The next pattern in our series is a cripple pattern. Um, I've done some filming up on our aerial lakes and rivers, and when I zoom in really, really tightly on the trout and see those bugs drifting by or coming up in lakes, I'm always just stunned at what they're taking. 90% uh, of the time during a hatch, I see them taking cripples. Um, and so this first pattern, first cripple pattern that I'm tying is, I, I've nicknamed a bad haircut Calabatus cripple. It's a pullover pattern. Um, from the top, it looks like a, uh, it's had a bad haircut. But from the bottom, from the trout's vision, it's an excellent little fly. And uh, one that catches a lot of fish for me. It somewhat emulates a Pablo's cripple, um, but not entirely. This is my own style of tie, and uh, one I'll use quite a bit during hatch phases on Calabatus. Now the next um, material I'm going to use is a whiting dry fly saddle. Uh, this particular saddle produces feathers in the 14 and 16 range, um, which is just perfect for calabatus. Um, calabatus tend to begin the season a little bit bigger, and as the season progresses, they get a little bit smaller. Some of our waters feature uh, calabatus in size 12s, and then they dip to 14s, 16s, and sometimes even late in the season, 18s. And so for the bad haircut portion of this fly, I'm going to use a whiting dry fly saddle. Um, now that, that saddle is in a grizzly dyed dun, which is an excellent color combination for calabatus mayflies. Okay, our next pattern we're going to tie is that bad haircut cripple pattern. So I'm going to begin by setting proportions. Um, I want to reserve that area forward of the fly for uh, the wing. And uh, um, I'm going to go ahead and begin tying with my Zelon. I gotta find it first on my desk. I get creating fly patterns and I get a very, very messy desk. I have pulled um, about a, a full hank of this Zelon material I get from Blue Ribbon Flies in Montana. And so that full hank I'm gonna split into two and I'm gonna use half of it for a trailing shuck. I want the image of a trailing shuck, but I don't want this to overwhelm the pattern. Um, it's giving a perception that this mayfly is emerging in the surface film. And so I want to have a nice trailing shuck about the length of the body on this mayfly. And so I'll tie that in. Next I'm going to tie with my biot, except um, instead of the biot coming from the leading edge of the turkey feather, I'm going to tie it with the trailing edge. And what that does for me is it gives me a little bit finer segmentation. As a mayfly emerges from nymph to a dun, and that's the process we're going through right now, it's going to get smaller and a little more delicate each time it emerges. Um, from its uh, shuck. So I'm also not going to use any wire on the biot. So I'm going to add a little crazy glue underneath this as we tie just to give it some strength and durability. That biot can break very easy in trout teeth. And I'll wind that forward. And you can see the wines on this are just subtly more delicate and a little smaller than I had on the nymph pattern. So I also shifted hooks. I went to a dry fly style hook. Um, 
that's 1x long. The nymph hook I was using was a 2x uh, long hook. Um, and so uh, it is a little bit smaller in stature as these nymphs emerge to a mayfly. When they shed that exoskeleton, they become smaller as, um, as a mayfly. So I'm going to tie on my wing at this point in time. I'm using that Zelon again. Uh, and I've taken the full hank for the wing. I don't want to shortcut this one. So now I've taken a, a dry fly saddle and I'm going to go ahead and prepare that and ready it to tie on. Now if anything I oversized this slightly. So I'll go ahead and strip some barbs off the stem. I'm going to tie that in right back to that wing. Now here's kind of a little trick that I've learned in tying this given pattern. I'm going to use my hackle pliers and they act as a nice platform. I'm not sure you can see this fully in the uh, in the video but that's what I'm basically doing is I've got my hackle pliers around that Zelon and I'm going to pull that directly upright and then I'll tie this hackle on leading up the Zelon. So I'll tie maybe five or six wraps upward and then wraps to bring me down to that hook and then I'll go ahead and tie this hackle off. And I'll trim off the excess. Any stray barbs, this is a good time to, to trim them out. All right, now I'm going to again take my mix of superfine and UV dubbing and I'm going to tie that in to create the thorax on this pattern. So I'll spin that nice and tight. I'm going to pull this hackle out of the way. I'll tie that all the way back to cover up that thorax area and then let's wind all the way back to the head on this pattern. So next I'm going to gather all of those fibers and I'm going to pinch them very tightly back in the hook and I'll fold that down just underneath the eye of the hook to kind of act as a handle and tie that off. So you can see I've got collected all that material um, on this pattern. And now here's the trick part. I'm going to use this Zelon to act as my pullover. And I'm going to support the hook and I'm going to pull that very sharply forward to create that pullover style. So let's drop into a whip finish here. I'm going to support that wing and pull it out of the way so it's not getting wrapped up in my, my head. I'm tying this whip finish right in front of that wing so that it, it supports it upright. Or pushes it a little bit upright. And again, a couple whip finishes. And I'll trim that off. Now I'm going to trim the wing to be facing somewhat upward. So this is our little bad haircut uh, cripple. So let me turn this around in the vise so you can see. From the top it looks a little bit like a bad haircut. But from the bottom that the trout see, it's got a really nice profile of an emerging uh, calabatus mayfly and so this is a pretty cool little pattern 
and one I like a lot for uh, fishing during a mayfly hatch. So that's your bad haircut calabatus pullover. The next video in our series will be a Quigley style cripple. So tune into that video next. Thanks for watching.